Animal Crossing has had a rich history when it comes to merchandise. Most people are familiar with the Sanai New Leaf plushes, but before that there was a Wild World set, and even predating the Wild World set was a really diverse series of characters produced by Nintendo and released in 2001, as promotion for Debutsu no Mori Plus. These plushes were released in six groups which contained five characters each. We have official set sheets for parts 2 through 6, and upon opening up the tag for plushes tagged with part 1, we can see all of the characters available. So altogether, there are known 30 characters to this plush set. But I remember seeing another character. Back a few years ago, around 2013, I was browsing a Japanese auction site looking for Animal Crossing plushes, having no idea what I would find, since I was unfamiliar with most of the merchandise. Much to my surprise, I had stumbled upon a plush of the Rabbit Islander, O'Hare. At the time, I didn't think much of this auction. I believe it was listed at around $130, and I thought one day I'd see it again. Well, that day has yet to come, as I've never found another O'Hare plush since that original listing from years ago, and that original auction has also never resurfaced. So that raises the question, what's up with the origin of this O'Hare plush? This is a mystery that's boggled my mind almost ever since the auction disappeared, and I've played around with a few different theories in my head. For sure he has to be related to this set, since there isn't any other set in existence that would contain him, but I needed to figure out how he fit in. One of my earlier ideas was that O'Hare was simply a one-off, randomly produced character that came out at the end of the final part 6. It seems like the first part never had an official set sheet like the others do, and I thought that was simply because as the set was just beginning, Nintendo didn't do a whole lot to document it. Similarly, I thought that perhaps as the set was ending, Nintendo just got lazy and released a random character by itself, since he wouldn't have added a sixth character to any of the parts, and there couldn't have been an entire missing seventh part. But after staring at the tag my Officer Copper has, the answer hit me. What reason would a super scarce item have to exist that doesn't fit into a larger set? The answer is on the back of the tag. In Japan, it's quite common for magazines or hobby shops to distribute items through the lottery system, which is sort of like a random raffle. The items distributed are often very limited and quite scarce, and in fact, another Animal Crossing item was actually distributed like this before, the Nook and Go playset. So if we look at the bottom of the tag, we can see the word Famitsu, which is a Japanese video game magazine that largely deals in Nintendo. The fact that their name appears on the back of these toys shows they had some kind of involvement in their promotion. So if we combine the common existence of prize items, and the fact that Famitsu is a magazine with involvement in these toys, we come to the conclusion that O'Hare was an exclusive, limited prize item that only Famitsu was able to acquire and raffle off. This would also explain O'Hare's insane rarity, as prize items are very scarce and no one was thinking about documenting a plush like that in the early 2000s before Animal Crossing got big and before collecting was a mainstream subculture. Of course, I like to be thorough with my searches, so I encourage some kind of visual evidence to come forward to undoubtedly prove that this plush does exist and that he was a prize item. The obvious, is he a bootleg or a custom suspicions are common conclusions, but in this case I don't think O'Hare could be either of those. Since I found the auction in 2013, I can't say that bootlegs or customs didn't exist at that time, but based on my recollection, I don't think anyone would bother making a custom that looked identical to a super old and dated plush set, and likewise no bootlegger would try and dupe someone with an obscure villager plush and for $130 at that. All things considered, I'm almost positive O'Hare was a limited prize and is the reason why he was never documented by Nintendo and why there are no saved pictures of him in the wild. I guess that means we have another incredibly rare item to add to the bevy of already unobtainable items for most people, and now that I've come to this conclusion, I'll forever be regretting the day I never dropped $130 on a prize item that hardly anyone has ever seen, and probably has no more than 10 in existence. Maybe one day we'll find some sort of Famitsu promo that mentions him, or even an in-hand picture from someone's collection, but until that day does come, the O'Hare plush will definitely remain a mystery.